Hey, what's up? Deco here, and in this quick video, I'm just going to show you how to sell stock. And so I'm just in my interactive brokers account here, and you can see that in the top left hand corner, there's a little magnifying glass. So I'm just going to click on that magnifying glass there. And that's going to bring me to where I can search for tickers and stuff. So I'm just going to click on the first ticker here. So I'm just going to click on the first ticker and then I'm going to click on stock. And that's going to bring me to the page where I can actually buy and sell the stock. So you can see in the lower left hand corner here, there's a big red button that says sell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the sell button. And the, it automatically populates with 100 shares quantity. And that's fine because this is just, I'm just showing you how to do it. And if I wanted to execute it right away, I would wanna change the order type. So below the quantity, is the order type here. So I'm just gonna change it from limit to market so it executes right away, okay? Now ideally, you wanna have a limit price in mind, like the most you're willing to pay for the shares, where in, in this case, the, the most cash you're willing to accept for the shares, right? Because we're selling the shares. Um, but once you change it to market, then you can go ahead and preview the order and if I wanted to just submit it I would just hit slide and then yes and accept and continue and there you go you can see I sold 100 at the market and it was for 880 because that was the market price okay and so once you sell the shares cash is deposited into your account and your account balance will reflect the negative amount of shares. So I'm just gonna to go to my portfolio here, and you can see that SM right here, or it's right here. Oh, let me get in, okay. So SM right there, I have minus 200 shares, okay? So, this is, this is important to realize that the broker that you're working with can close out your position at any time for the market price, okay? So that's the one thing about shorting things. And there's also technically no, it's unlimited downside, okay? So if the stock that I sold goes up forever, you know, I'm gonna be I'm going to be priced out. Eventually, the brokerage is going to have to close my account because I don't have enough cash to cover the shares because they've gained in value that much. So that's the risk in shorting stocks, okay? If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Decope channel as well. I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks.